Yo guys, Kyle here, back again with another video. Today we're going to be playing NHL. We're going to be creating a new NHL 19 franchise mode series. And the team that we will be using is the Vancouver Canucks. They're a team on the upcome. They have rookies. They have players that are young that are coming up. And they, they are our team that's on the rise. They're 88 overall. They're in the Western uh, Pacific Division. Um, so, yeah. So, Fog of War is going to be off. GM firing's off. Owner mode off. Morale meetings off. Morale. Player morale on. Edit lines off. Trades on. Salary cap on. I don't want Fog of War because I want to see what player I get. Like, if I get a medium elite in the draft, I want to see who I get and what his overall is, what his potential is, not having to wait like a month or two into the video. So yeah, this video is just gonna be like a start of video where I'm gonna show you the team and all the players, the prospects, um, the values of the players. I'm gonna show you the potential of the players. I'm gonna sim maybe a couple days just to see how the team plays. And I, I don't know how I want the lines yet, but two players that is for sure that are sticking with us no matter what Boho Rat and Brock Besser. Those guys are the future, the key future. So uh, the first line's perfect. Well, I don't know. We might want to go like, because Erickson's face offs is 665. I thought his were higher, so I don't know. He's a second line, though he's 33. So we might go like something like this, like this, and then move Beagle up. His Beagle's face offs are high. Of 85 and bear cheese the second line Pedersen needs first line because we want him to grow who has better face-offs 77 and 82 so Horvat Horvat Besser and Pedersen that's nasty top line go Dobin Beagle it's bear cheese okay Pedersen does sh shoot left so it's okay we will see at Erickson Rutanen um, Erickson doesn't have good face-offs for six. He has the same. How much did Tannen have? 65. So he might just go like this. Because Schaller is a face-off guy. Um, he does 75 face-offs. And Sutter has 80. So our face -off, our uh, center core is good. Um, our wingers how, have it how we want it. Besser is our key player. We can't let him get injured. Uh, scratched, we have Biagla. Granlin in their center and Tyler Mott. Defense, we have Edler, Tanev, Puglia, Hudden, Dizotto, and Stetcher. I like to switch it around just so they're on their one timer sides. And then the goalies, Mark Sherman Nielsen. But we do have Thatcher Demko in the HL 22 79, who is ready to come up anytime. His role is a backup goalie. Um, so if we play him in the start this year for the uh, Uticon, he sh probably should grow to a starter because Markstrom is still good. But, you know, we want to grow him. Now in the AHL, Sam Gagne. I don't know why. Why is he in the AHL? Like, he's an NHL. Like, he could be playing right where Tim Schaller's playing for us. And it's sit down, reset. Like,. That what that's what we're gonna do right now. Actually, we're gonna take down R Roulette, or I can't even say his name, Roulette, for um, uh, for Tim. Uh, where is he right here? We're actually gonna keep him. We're just gonna get rid of Tyler Mott for Sam Gagne, because Gagne is still an eighty overall. And he's old enough where he can like help the team grow and stuff. Help the team out. He's 80. He's old enough. So here's the lines. Uh, I want it something like this. Like that. Maybe like this. Um, Be Beagle's good enough for second line minutes. Uh, so... Stats are really good. Now the HL, we do have some prospects. So we have Brandon, Brandon Gaunt, Tanner Kiro, Tyler Mott. Sometimes gets good in franchise mode. Um, Darren Archibald, 
Adam Godlet is playing on the top line. He's a player that needs to be good. Ray Boucher will play on the other top line. Um, we'll go actually like this. Brandon Woods, Zach McQuinn, Carter Banks, Hamilton, Cam Darcy, Vincent something. Defense. Gerbanson never panned out. Um, Olevi we want on the top pair. Uh... Who else? Like right here, Quinn Hughes. I created Quinn Hughes. I created him 64 overall. Me and Malit. Not the best, but he will be getting top line minutes. I'll go like that just so they're playing. He's playing with Gerbanson, who's high overall. And Levy's playing with another high overall. And of course, in the cage, in the HL, Thatcher Demko. And scratched players for the HL. We have a bit. Um, but no, too good. Uh, Palmu usually grows into something a little decent. Um, this guy doesn't look bad. HL starter. Um, but yeah, we have some decent prospects. Jonathan Dalene is another one that's really good. I'm going to put him in the lineup right now. Over this Tanner Kiro guy. Because I don't think we need him. We'll put him on the top line just because. We need those are the players that want to grow. Uh, the centers as you can see has except from Horvat and Patterson where we playing on the wing our centers are kind of old 29 29 and 32 so we do need more centers but we're gonna sim the uh, preseason right now see what we get a record of and we'll sim maybe a month into the preseason or into the regular season and see how we can do this so let's uh, sim first game against the Sharks with new Eric Carlson um, is a 4-3 overtime loss first game against LA there's a 2 nothing win Calgary also guys all the scouting stuff I'll be doing after the video ends so you won't be seeing me scout but when I scout I'll be scouting when the video is over so when I end the video that's when I'll scout just letting you know because I will be doing the scouting as well um, there we go another win against Vegas we're 3 and 2 we never lost in regulation and I jinxed it and now against the Arizona Coyotes so we're basically we ha we are over 500 for the preseason, which a good start. Three, two, and two. That's uh, eight points. Um, Louis Erickson. That's a surprise. I did not think Erickson would get most points. I thought maybe a Besser or that. Uh, Louis Erickson five. Bear Chief four. Vatanen four. Gagne four. Lucky we brought him up. Uh, Besser only had three. Where is Horvat only two? We are expecting more. 16 shots from Horvat, 17 for Puglia, 19 for Besser, just couldn't find a net, 17 for Berchi, and Pedersen wasn't up there either. So we're going to sim a couple games here. Uh, first regular season game is against Calgary. We're going to sim that. We're going to just have the advancing days. We're not going to actually go in the calendar. Our first two games are against Calgary. Uh, I just skipped scouting things. I'll be doing that. Um, after the video just because it takes too long. I don't want you guys to really be bored. Berichi, one point, one goal, and we lost our first game. There we go. Come on, Cal Calgary. We got to go one and one even. Yes. Pedersen, two points, two games. Shootout win for your Vancouver Canucks. Carolina, 2-0 oh, and 1. We can beat them. They're not hard. And we do, 3-2. Louis Erickson, three points, three games. Not bad. Tampa Bay, come on. No, 4-3. But Erickson's keeping his pace, 4-4. Four four. Oh, now we got Florida. Can we beat Florida? They're 1-1. One one. Um, we don't. But Pedersen, 5 points, 5 games. Not bad. We're 2-3. Two and three. We have 4 points. Um, Pittsburgh's 2-2. Two and two. Can we beat them? We do. 6-4. That's nasty. Um... Patterson is oh odd oh, that's been injured that's not good 7.6 games for uh, Elias Patterson seems to only be putting up assists um, Winnipeg we win in a uh, shootout we're four and three not bad Boston is three two and two could we beat them we do we win another shootout two back-to-back -back shootouts Patterson got his first goal of the NHL against Boston five and three Ben Hunt's injured Washington we lose 5-3. We're a 5-4 record. 
Erickson, nine points, nine games. I don't think he can maintain this um, goal scoring he's been putting up. 3 2, 10 points, 10 games. How is he doing it? I don't know. 6 and 4, 12 points. We beat the Yotes. Erickson's lighting it up. 11 games, 11 points. 7 and 4. We're in fourth in our division. Could we beat Pittsburgh? We don't. But 5 4, close game. Uh, Louis Erickson again, 12, another point. He's getting a point per game. Pedersen's 13 13 as well. We lose to Columbus, but in a shootout, so, or in overtime, so we still get a point. Chicago lighting up, 7 3 and 2, but we can beat them, don't worry. Nope, we get a point though. As long as we get a point, it's okay, but if we just lose, it's not okay, because we won't get to be getting a point, but if we get a point, it'll be okay. We're like, we lost to Colorado, not okay. Um, four and three. Here we go. We're November fifth. Detroit seven and seven. We beat them one nothing. Erickson fourteen point sixteen games. So he started to lose his momentum, but he's still putting a lot up for his age. Um, Boston's eight three and three. We're eight six and two. We take an L. Um. I'm on Buffalo. We can win this. I'm just kind of just simming a whole bunch of games because, you know, it's just fun. And getting through the stats. Um, so 20 points right now. Lost again to the Rangers. We need to go on just a big winning streak. Lost again to the Islanders. Let's go best lines for now. Uh, Minnesota. We win 3-1. Not bad. Finn Berchie is now ahead. 17 points, 21 games. Montreal. Can we beat Montreal? We do. 5-3. Erickson's back in the lead. 19 points, 22 games in Winnipeg. Can we beat Winnipeg? We do. We have a shutout. Markstrom gets a shutout against Winnipeg. 4 nothing. Now it's the Ducks. Come on. Can we beat the Ducks? We do. Another shutout. Markstrom's on a two-game shutout. I believe Markstrom's the guy playing. The Sharks. Another shutout. Mark jumps three shutouts in a row. Holy moly. I'll go up to the Vegas game right after the Vegas game. So we lose 4-3 there against LA. Um, can we beat them back? Get some revenge on them. Eric Johnson. No, thank you. $6 million. I do not want that contract. And we win in a shootout. Now it's the last game I'm going to do. Hopefully Pedersen can break even. 20, uh, 28 points in 28 games. 6-3. He's close. But yeah. I'll show you the points before we end off today's first episode. Pay to an 84. He started the season at 82. And now he's an 84. Same as Besser's. A, uh, 23 points. 28 games, 28 games for Pedersen, uh, 84, 22 assists, 5 goals, uh, Besser is 85 still, Erickson, I did not expect that, but he's, eh, okay, Horvat 22 and 28, Berchie 21, 28, Beagle 21, 28, it's not bad, Godobin 12 and 28, he could be putting up a little bit more, we do have him on the second line, um, so I expect a little bit more from him. Edler, best defenseman, uh, 10 points, not bad. He's a minus 2, uh, same as Vertanen's, a minus 1, 9 points, Gagne, 9, Schaller, 7, Suter, 7, Biega, 6, Lipsick, 4, Desato, 3, Pouliot, 3, Tanev, 2, Stetcher, 1. Tanev should have a bit more, because he's our top guys well with Edler. Um, Hudden, Granlin, uh, Rissette doesn't have a point, he's only 1. Without a point. Oh, also I wanted to check the gold kenders, um, just because. Mark uh twelve and seven. Nelson's not doing that. Oh, he's doing okay, four and three. But it's, it could be better. But Nelson Markstrom's lighting it up, twelve and seven and two, and he had three shutouts. So yeah, here's his stats. Um, so yeah. Um, now I'm going to show you the potentials of the team because we also do have some players that aren't signed uh, by players that I mean that aren't signed is Jet Wu so here's players and also Quinn Hughes we have he's at 65, 19, Horvat, Olevi, Dalin, Wu like I was talking about 65, 18 
Oh, I want do one thing. I do want to see how long do we have Erickson for? Four years. God, that's a bad contract. Uh oh. Also, we do have uh, uh Di Pietro, medium starter playing in the CHL. He is decent. He's 63. Um, so we're gonna have Demko, but maybe he can be our future backup. I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, guys, leave a like, comment below what you guys want to see, any trades, anything happening. I'll show you the draft class. Um, so yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, a lot of good stuff. Jack Hughes, I created him. He's obviously going number one next year. Um, high elite. I didn't want to put him franchise because I think that'd be too overpowered. But yeah, we're gonna put scouts on these guys, or we're gonna pin these guys. I can't talk, just because they're the top players. Uh, and Peyton Krabs did move into the top five in the rookie prospects pool. Um, in the real world, he moved into top five. So another thing, this Hanfield guy, 36, supposed to go. Dylan Cousins, give you a pin. Um, so yeah. So now basically, when I'm ending the video, I'll be doing the scout after the video. So you won't, you're just gonna miss me doing the scouting. But I don't think you want to see that. So guys, that's the end of the video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, comment below what you want, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.